Um, I have been actively involved just over the hill from you here in Chatsworth. I'm in Chatsworth and been organizing in the West Valley um, for the last few years. And just since I am new to folks, I wanted to introduce myself. I'm running for assembly in 8038 um, to take the seat back, turn it back to blue, which I know we can do, which we know we can do. definitely do it if we're united and so I am hoping that we can really build a united front around this race. Um, I myself have been organizing and in the labor movement for 20 years. I come out of the labor movement. I grew up in Northern California near Yosemite in the foothills from you know a, a working class family that struggled to make ends meet and I saw personally what a difference a union job made when my dad got a job as an electrician and we had comprehensive health care for the first time and he could be sick and not worry about losing a day's pay. Um, and then, you know, I went on to work in the labor movement myself where I've organized to, um, for the California Nurses Association for almost the last 13 years to fight for health care justice, to stop hospitals from closing, to raise the minimum wage, to fight for housing, um, and to fight for all of the issues that we know are so important in our community to really have just communities. Um, and then more recently, I've started a couple organizations in the West Valley organizing around homelessness and housing, racial justice and environmental justice. We now have the largest um, homeless outreach program in the San Fernando Valley where we reach 500 unhoused folks every Sunday. We just had an anniversary event where we um, commemorated giving out 20,000 meals since the beginning of the pandemic. And um, we've seen the kind of suffering that's happening. And the reason that I'm running is really because I've been working on issues that you know impact my community for 20 years. And I see so many Band-Aid solutions happening, not really solving the problem. And I just wanna go to Sacramento and make some real change, make the changes that actually make changes in people's lives, where it puts food on the table, it guarantees healthcare for people, it ensures that you can afford the housing that you need, um, you know, and, and providing quality education to our kids. Um, you know, this is the kind of fight that we need to have in Sacramento, um, and we cannot continue to, you know, do Band-Aid solutions. And we know the kind of leadership we're getting in 8038 right now is not the kind of leadership we need. She couldn't even vote to support Pride Month, um, the most basic vote that you could do to support our LGBTQ community and you know with dignity and acknowledging the civil rights fight within our community right now around those issues um, she couldn't even do that right so we really need to change the leadership in this district we have a chance to do that um, I would love to talk to folks about my campaign I think that I'm in a great position to be able to do it um, you can learn more about me at pilarforca.com. I have some flyers here um, up on the table by the cupcakes that everybody should buy. <laughs> and, um, and I just appreciate having time to talk with folks, getting to meet folks, and, and really appreciate the work that's happening with the Dunn Clubs here in this district and it's in this town, which, which is so important. And the, I, you know, I see the building and growing and movement that is building. Um, here and you know there's opportunities to build and grow that I think with this campaign and continue to build and grow um, you know our movement to really fight for, for justice and fight for real change for our community so thank you so much.